welcome to the atrium on your Packer link up. Today is Wednesday, December 3rd, and we are in Packer land are hearing all sorts of toilets flushing in podcasts across Packer Nation. We're hearing terms like swirling the drain, circling the drain uh, after this Carolina loss, lost Packers lost to Carolina 35 to 31. Ending the game with an Aaron Rodgers interception after another abysmal performance by our defense and another abysmal performance uh, in part by Aaron Rodgers. Our offensive line looking stinky once again. Um, this is the point in the season at which the Packers still mathematically can make the playoffs, but most of us realize that this is a team that does, has no business being in the playoffs and playing in the postseason. As much as we'd still like to, I would still love to see them get there, and it's possible that they will, uh, it just seems clear this is a team that does not belong, and if they do pull off uh, a playoff appearance and win the division, they will be one and done. Uh, this is not the kind of year that Packers, Packer fans expected. Uh, we had one starter uh, changed on offense, that was Aaron Rodgers put in for Brett Favre. This was a decision by the management. It was made, uh, it was forced through, and it has not turned out well. Uh, so the Green Bay Packers and Packer fans now having to deal with uh, a, a team that just looks like they look flat, they look like they have no emotion, they're giving up on games, they're giving up on plays, it looks like they've given up on the season, and I don't know that Mike McCarthy is the kind of coach that can bring them back from that. He is very organized, he is very business-like, but whether he can bring the team back from this kind of a deficit remains to be seen. Uh, so today's episode is our I Told You So episode. And uh, by that, I mean I'm going to go over the things that I have said from the beginning were going to hurt this team down the road. I've heard a lot of podcasters and uh, people that are you know, giving their opinions, sort of it's as if some of this stuff is just now dawning on them. And I just want to go back and say, listen, some of these red flags are ones that I have harped on from the beginning. And the first one I want to talk about is... Uh, Mike McCarthy and the coaching staff. I said from the get-go that without Brett Favre at the helm, Coach McCarthy was going to have to play call this team into position to win ball games. Without that leader on the field, without an extra coach on the field, he was going to have to be a better coach off the field. And uh, I believe that with the Packers' tough schedule, they were going to have some difficult games. Uh, for a long time, though, it seemed Aaron Rodgers would be able to handle this. I thought he was as good a person for the job as we could expect and hope to have. Uh, I'm disappointed that we did not keep Brett Favre the minute that he came out of retirement to make sure he was on our team. Uh, but I did say, and, and I, I, those of you who watch this video blog can vouch for me, I said... I, I understand Coach McCarthy is very organized, he is very common sense, and he's very pragmatic, but there's more to being a winning coach than just being an organized, pragmatic, and business-like coach. You have to be able to motivate a team to play beyond their very skills. You have to be able to help uh, offense and defense dig down deep within themselves and find a place where you play football with the kind of emotion that champions play with. And you play football with that kind of backyard fun and the kind of uh, Super Bowl competitiveness and the kind of uh, Iron Man edge that makes champions. And I challenge Coach McCarthy to be able to do this because I have not seen it up to this point. And I think that my, I, I did not believe that he could. I did not believe he had proven he, he could. 
And that challenge is still out there. It is still a possibility that he can motivate this team to be the kind of team that, say, the Giants were last year coming from way behind, not really seeming like they had any business being there and taking it all. That's the kind of players we have. We have some of those players that can really do the job. But I uh, have not seen Mike McCarthy. I haven't seen him play call. When, when the team needed him to make the right play call, he has not to really make the kind of call that made people sit back and go, oh, thank goodness, that was, I wish I would have thought of that. That was perfect. Uh, we have not seen that yet. Uh, last year, we saw it a little bit with the Minnesota Vikings. This year, uh, when we, uh, last year, when we played the Minnesota Vikings at Lambeau, I thought that Coach McCarthy was uh, tapped in to Brad Childress's Motorola. It was that. He, it was like he was reading everything. He was reading their minds. Uh, and this year, you saw a little bit of it against the Indianapolis Colts. Thought they played a very good game. Maybe the Bears a little bit as well. Uh, but when we play a team that is better than us, that just flat deserves to beat us, and we're going to run into those teams. Without Brett Favre, we are not the kind of team that we are just because of the skill level of our players, we are going to beat everybody. It's not going to happen that way. We have to have the coach play call a few times and just plain outsmart the other coach and put our team in a position to win. And I don't think McCarthy has passed that test. Now, uh, for the first time ever, I've heard some people calling for Coach McCarthy's head. Uh, well, give me a break. This guy has had a big challenge ahead of him. He, may, he sat down with Brett Favre and basically, before he went into the meeting with Brett Favre in the preseason, had decided to work him into a corner to get him out of Green Bay. And he made his point and he got it done. He did everything. He got everything he wanted. Now it's time for him to take any criticism for all the bad that has happened. And our team right now is not a good team and it falls on the head coach, it falls on the general manager, and it trickles down from there to the offensive and defensive coordinators uh, and to the players themselves. Uh, but uh, I really think Coach McCarthy has not done has done a disservice to Packer fans in the way that he has handled this particular season. I know he's worked hard, but it's not about working hard, it's about winning. And he has not won for us when we needed him to play to make that call that won the game for us. And I think in particular